This BMC Helix Control M video will demonstrate how to reproduce a problem with debug enabled on the Control M agent and collect the right logs. There may be situations in which an issue occurs on the Control M agent and you are asked by BMC customer support to reproduce the problem with debug enabled and provide them the logs. In this scenario, a job ends not okay and to find the reason we have been asked to provide logs in debug level 5. For this demo we will use a Control M agent on Windows, though the commands used in relative log locations are the same for a Linux agent. We have opened a command prompt with the as administrator option. To see the current debug level of the agent, type the command, ag, dbg, lvl. The current debug level is 0. To set the level to 5, simply run the command, ag, dbg, lvl, 5. Now we need to reproduce the problem, so in this case we rerun the failing job, and wait for it to end not ok again. After this, we can go back to the command prompt and set the debug level back to zero. Note that leaving debug at a high level for an extended period, may cause log files to use a large amount of disk space. To collect the relevant logs, agent configuration, and environment information, we use the ctma underscore, data underscore, collector command, as shown. This collects the relevant data and stores it in a zip file. The name and location of this file is shown when the command ends. You can then send to BMC customer support using the method they provide. That concludes this BMC Helix Control M Solutions video. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos like this.